everyone, we're going to find the derivative of the function g of x equals inverse tan of x minus square root of 1 plus x squared. We're going to use our formula here for our derivatives of inverse tan uh, functions. So let's write this. I'm going to change this to y. So y prime equals 1 divided by, this is like your x part, so you're going to write 1 plus all of this squared. So that's going to be x plus square root of 1 plus x squared squared. And then you have to differentiate your inner function. So your inner function, when you differentiate that, is going to be derivative of x is just 1 minus. Now to uh, differentiate that, let me do it down here. So 1 plus x squared to the one half power, that gives me one half uh, one plus x squared to the negative one half, and then times the derivative of this is two x. So the uh, twos cancel, and this is going to put this in the denominator. So you have still have an x, so it's going to be x divided by square root of one plus x squared. All right, the next step I want to do is go ahead and expand this based on my factoring facts. It has this form. So we're going to write this as y prime equals 1 divided by 1 plus, now we're going to uh, square the x plus 2ab, so 2x square root of 1 plus x squared and then plus um, you square your b so that's just going to be 1 plus x squared. Now this is all going to be times this. Now I'm going to go ahead and write this part with our common denominator as a square root of 1 plus x squared. That means I have to uh, if I want this to be the denominator, I have to multiply this too. So this is just going to be a square root of 1 plus x squared minus x. So this is going to go in your numerator, and then we're going to uh, clean up the, uh, simplify the denominator. So when you do that, you're going to get y prime equals, now I'm going to write my numerator now, is x squared plus 1 minus x, just brought that together, and then in the denominator uh, we had, we're multiplying, well let me just write down what we had because I had 1 plus x squared minus 2x times square root of x squared plus 1 plus x squared plus 1. And then we're also going to be multiplying a denominator with square root of x squared plus 1. So anyway, what we need to do is simplify this. This is going to be a 2. So we have a 2 plus 2x two squared minus 2x square root of x squared plus 1. And this is all being multiplied by what we had on that previous slide, square root of x squared plus 1. So now what I can do is factor out a 2. And if I do that, I'm going to get square root of x squared plus 1 minus x, all divided by, let's factor out that 2, 2. And then we'll have 1 plus x squared minus x times square root of x squared plus 1 times this one, square root of x squared plus 1. All right, and this should be multiplied by that. Now, simplifying further, what I'm going to do next is um, pull out the, um, I'm going to distribute this uh, here. to each of these pieces. 
So I'm going to multiply it uh, there. So what we're going to get is um, y prime equals square root of x squared plus 1. Then you have to minus x. And now we still have the 2. So let's leave that out. And we're going to have, when you distribute that, you're going to get square root of x squared plus 1. All right, plus x squared times x squared plus 1. And then we had uh, minus x um, times x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1, square root of x squared plus 1. So I just uh, distributed this x squared plus 1. All right. This right here is just going to turn into x times x squared plus 1. So here we're going to end up having square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. And we're going to end up having um, 2. And I'm going to factor out uh, x squared plus 1. So that's going to give me times x squared plus 1 uh, times... 1 plus x squared minus x, um, this part right here, minus square root, not square root, it's just going to be uh, this. So x squared plus 1. All right. After that, um, we can simplify this by grouping this together. Uh, we have... 1 plus x squared and 1 plus x squared here. So I can pull that out and I'm going to factor that out and that's going to give me y prime equals square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. Our numerator is staying the same. And now I'm going to factor out my 1 plus x squared and then that's going to be multiplied by square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. All right, now that we did that, we can cancel these. So you get 1. So my final answer is y prime equals 1 divided by 2 times 1 plus x squared. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>